People want to find peace immediately. You don't find it through sitting at home, flipping through the daggone you know, television channels. You're going to find peace from going to war with yourself. When you go through and you challenge yourself at every turn, when you're constantly breaking down barriers and breaking down barriers and breaking down barriers and getting back up and getting back up and getting back up, at the end of all that, trust me, you find peace. What the hell are we all waiting for? Start attacking life. Waiting for the stars to align. There is no perfect time to start. You gotta start now with changing your life. We're all being tested in life. And guess what? This is one test you can't cheat on. We all have our own test. Some of us are obese. Some of us are depressed. Some of us are insecure. And the only way to overcome it is for you and you alone to face it. You have to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, guess what you got to do? You got to suck it the fuck up and do it. You need to leave in the grip of life to find inspiration. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. A true dog mentality is not enough. It's not enough you made to the NFL. Be the fucking MVP. It's not enough you made a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. If some of you aren't doing shit, you're 10% just getting off the, the couch. The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. Find yourself in the grip of life. You can't find yourself by doing nothing. That's the mindset that we all need to have for the rest of our lives. We have to go to a point in our lives where there is no finish line, there is no ending, and to find true pride in what you've done on this earth. So what is holding you back? You and only you are the one in control. It is your choice. We live in a world of hollow words, people who speak but don't do. There is no trick to it. You have to put in the hard work. It's all about repetition. Failure kind of sits that bar. And then you go, okay, next time out, I'm going past where I failed. And it's a new bar. Now you can fail again. But failing doesn't mean you quit. It means you failed, but get back up and continue to push that bar higher and higher and higher. When you're constantly pushing and getting up earlier and getting up earlier and getting up earlier and fighting through pains and discomforts, you don't care about failure. You actually welcome it. That means you set the bar so high that it's like, oh, I failed. That's where I need to be. Now I got figured out. You have to be uncommon amongst uncommon in your world. And it's not for everybody. It takes everything. And then when you think you've given everything, you've just begun.